Understanding Maximo users, people, and resources is critical to your use of Maximo. Not only is it important in terms of license enablement, but it is also critical in ensuring you have the right craft with the right skills and qualifications assigned to perform asset maintenance work. In today's video brought to you by Maven Asset Management, let's explore this functionality. And we're going to start today with an overview of the resource hierarchy in Maximo. On the far left is the person application. In the person application, we have records for any individual who might be a Maximo user. They may be a labor individual or a craftsman. They also might be an asset user or a custodian. Person records may be people in your organization or external to your organization. And to find this application or module, they're located under administration resources. A subset of persons are the Maximo users. These are the individuals who sign into Maximo and who access the various applications. You'll find these individuals under the security module because this is where we grant them access to the individual applications. Users also can be internal or external to your organization. From our users, we have a subset of two different groups. First is people who don't actually perform labor. They might be a planner, they might be an engineer or an analyst, but they're critical in your organization to make sure your maintenance activities are performed properly. And then on the bottom here, we have our labor records. Our labor records are those individuals who physically perform work. They're also located under administration resources. Labor records can be internal or external to your organization. But very importantly about a labor record is they don't necessarily have to be a Maximo user. They may be a Maximo user, in which case they'll have both a person and a user record, but if they are not a Maximo user, they are still assigned a person record so you can assign and track work for that individual. But let's drill a little bit deeper into our labor records because these are key to make sure that we have qualified personnel assigned to perform the work. So for example, if you have to maintain a very expensive piece of equipment and you need some electrical work done, you want to make sure that you have a uh, electrician who has the necessary skills and qualifications assigned to perform that work, you don't want to assign someone from your grounds crew or a mechanic or an HVAC individual. So within our labor record, a couple of key applications to note is the crafts. This is where we assign the various crafts critical to your organization. Qualifications, so in the cat category that we gave crafts, we said we have an electrician. Well, how do we know that electrician is qualified to perform the work? We track his qualifications or licenses. And again, as I mentioned, it's important to note that a labor record can be internal or external. And then when we have our labor records defined, we can assign them to various crews, like a mechanic crew, uh, field crew one, field crew two, and we can also assign them to person groups. Well, now let's head over into Maximo and let's explore the labor functionality, including crafts and qualifications in more detail. I'm signed into Maximo and I've accessed the people application. As you can see here, I have 160 records. These are the individuals who may or may not be Maximo users and are internal and external to our organization. Let's quickly head over to the user's application. Again, this is under the security module. And if you'll see here, I have a subset of that total. These are the people that have the user ID that are logged in or can log in to Maximo. But now let's focus a little bit more on our labor application. The labor application is where we register those individuals who are craftsmen or our tradespeople. And as we navigate our queries here, notice I have some mechanics. I have 24 mechanics registered. I have, I don't know, uh, five HVAC technicians. But let's take a look at our electricians. I have 20 electricians. Let me open that up and let's look a little closer at Adams. Notice here, Adams, it's tied to the person because 
Adams, our craftsperson, doesn't have to be a Maximo user. In this case, he's a person, so I can assign and track work for him. As I scroll down here, I can see some various personal information that you can choose to expose or not expose. That's up to you. But what's important and I want to draw your attention to is here in the craft section. Adams is an electrician and you can see the different types of skills that he has. I can assign him work where there is no skill level associated or I can assign him work where there's a first class electrician required. Also, you can see he's assigned to a different type of a, a craft. It doesn't necessarily have to be electrin electrician or mechanic. In this case, he's also assigned to a tier two maintenance support. But one thing that I really wanna draw your attention to again is qualifications. How do I know that Adams is a qualified electrician? Well, I can see his certifications here. He's a master certified electrician. He also has other certifications that you can see here. And if I want to expand this, whoops, let me expand it over here, excuse me. I can scroll down and I can see the details for that, what his certificate number is, et cetera, all the way down. And also, if I want to go to qualifications, I can come here and really importantly, I can see what other labor also has the same master certified electrician. And I can see the different records, Adams Ball, uh, Camellia, Ford, etc. So give a lot of great information here. And then I can come back to my labor record and I can see that. We also though want to draw your attention to that we have outside contractors outside contractors that you may need to bring into your organization to perform certain work. If I bring up one of those, I'll bring up Ford here. I can see again, same thing that I saw with Adams. I can see that he's an electrician, but now let me collapse the menu here and draw your attention to the vendor and contract. This is identifying him as that external um, uh, organization that I bring in to help me perform work. But again, I'm tracking that information that he is a qualified electrician over here on the tab for qualifications. He does also have that same certification as my internal Adams uh, labor record. So really important information here. We want to make sure that we're tracking our qualifications and our skills in Maximo. So when we have assets that need to be maintained that require those certain levels, we pick up the right personnel and assign those personnel to perform that work. So thank you very much for your time today as we've explored the hierarchy levels of resources in Maximo and did a quick view of our labor qualifications and craft records.